The eventual arrival of the larger F-35 jets, currently slated for spring, has attracted controversy as the Air Force cites Truax Field as the preferred option for housing them. The Air Force officially selected Truax Field for jets in April 2020. A ceremony marked the end of the F-16 era at Truax Field, which began nearly 30 years ago. The last F-16 fighter jets of the 115th Fighter Wing took off from Truax Field for the last time Wednesday morning as the facility prepares for the arrival of new F-35 jets next year. A small contingent of F-16s from other units will temporarily stay at Truax Field for homeland defense training, the Air Force said. Opponents, including people living near the Dane County Regional Airport, have raised concerns about jet noise levels and the impact on their homes and health. Proponents, meanwhile, have touted the project's economic benefits for the region. Officials from the F-35 Joint Program Office and the Air Force recalled several frenetic months as the service grappled with understanding the scope of the problem, developing a fix, and communicating it to dozens of stakeholders at base and maintenance. Depots around the world. Overall, the operational impact is difficult to measure. While the Air Force has released data on how many F-35As, T-6s and T-38s were affected by the potential problem, the Navy and Marine Corps declined to detail how many of its fighters and trainers were forced to suspend flight operations. Claim Operational Sensitivity After years of contemplation, the U.S. Air Force has finally decided to upgrade the 608 F-16 Block 40 and 50 in one of the largest modernization initiatives in history. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Center announced that the F-16 fighter jet will get up to 22 modifications. The program aims to increase the aircraft's lethality and ensure that fourth-generation fighters can deal with current and future threats. A complex project, known as the Post Block Integration Team or POBIT, is led by the Air Force's Fighters and Advanced Aircraft Life Cycle Management Center Directorate, which formulates a strategy for organizing and installing upgrades on the aircraft. The 22 modifications include an active electronically scanned array radar, a new cockpit display, a new mission computer, and a new database. The fighter will also receive next-generation electronic warfare capabilities as well as communication suite upgrades, central display units, programmable data generators, and several other key hardware components to modernize the aircraft.